The main purpose be behind Clark wanting to attack British holdings in the Illinois country were, was to a stepping stone to get to Detroit. The idea was that most of the raids against American settlements in today's Kentucky were being instigated by the British in Detroit. And that prior to being able to get as far as Detroit to hopefully nip that in the bud, the Illinois country would be a stepping stone because it was lightly defended. And the residents of the Illinois towns, um, principally Kaskaskia and Cahokia, were French, and they really had no great affection for the British. So Clark had sent a couple spies to the area who told him that this is lightly defended, and if you show up with a decent-sized group of men, you can grab these towns and use that as a springboard to attack Detroit. So the larger purpose was attack Detroit and attempt to suppress the Indian attacks on American settlements. The expedition to Vincennes was the follow-up. Clark's first expedition had been the expedition to take Kaskaskia and Cahokia. He had gone to Virginia. He had convinced Governor Henry and Thomas Jefferson to provide some material support and some validation and sanction. The area that he was looking at, the Illinois country, at this time, as I said earlier, is all considered part of Virginia's colonial charter. So Clark then began to assemble a force of men beginning at Fort Pitt. He then descended the Ohio as far as the falls of the Ohio, which is the future site of Louisville, where he added more men before telling them what their destination was going to be, which was the Illinois country. Um, after marching to Cahokia, in Kaskaskia. He got to Kaskaskia first and surprised the skeleton um, forces there. It's a very lightly defended area. Kaskaskia was taken without a shot. Cahokia was taken without a shot. And Clark then planted himself there and for the next few months, this was the summer of 1778, for the next few months, he engaged in some Indian diplomacy where he attempted to convince the Indians that their uh, better interest lied in either neutrality or alliance with Americans. Well, while this was happening, General Hamilton came down from Detroit with a force to occupy Vincennes, which was on the other side of Illinois on the Wabash River, technically in what's now Indiana. So that was sort of throwing the gauntlet down because it undermined Clark's idea that he was presenting to the Indians that the British moment had been, uh, was over in the Illinois country and the future lie with the Americans. So Clark decided we can't let this stand. For one, he still hoped to get as far as Detroit, but he couldn't allow the British to occupy Vincennes Otherwise, you now had an even more dangerous British post in the heart of the area that Americans were trying to settle. So his calculation was, if I wait until spring or summer of 1779, Hamilton will be reinforced and my task will be that much harder. So instead, I'm going to do a winter attack. And so he decided to cross the flooded... Um, Southern Illinois Territory cross the bottom of Illinois and attack Vincennes in February. Um, it was, uh, you know, the stuff of legends that these men are in near freezing weather, in near freezing water, no place to camp. Um, sometimes, literally, finding taking turns on a on a small piece of dry ground, taking turns sleeping an hour or two. Um, hard to even make fires in many cases. Um, and they did this for close to three weeks uh, and before they finally got to the other side and surprised Hamilton at Vincennes. Well, when they got to Vincennes, they arrived in the middle of the night and they had a couple of French-speaking um, emissaries with them who went around, knocked on some of the doors of the town's residents and said, you know, keep quiet. The Americans are here. 
and there's going to be a, a, a fight with the British in the morning. Um, by the time dawn broke, um, Clark and his men were allied outside the fort, and a parley ensued back and forth between um, Clark and Hamilton. Hamilton at first saying that he, of course, would not surrender and would fight. Clark telling him, if you don't surrender, I can't be responsible for what's going to happen. Um, coincidentally, as this exchange was going on, a raiding party of, of mixture of, of Indians and whites had returned from an expedition um, where they were entering the town of Vincennes, sort of celebrating that they were carrying some, some, some American scalps with them. Uh, Clark's men seized the Indians involved, and uh, five or six of them were, were executed right on the spot. Uh, that made an impression on Hamilton. The reputation of Clark and of the Americans in general were that these were fierce people who gave no quarter. Uh, Hamilton decided to surrender the fort, and he expected to be quickly exchanged. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Hamilton ended up being sent all the way back to Virginia where he was imprisoned in Williamsburg for several months.